College can be overwhelming and stressful for new students. It can be especially difficult for young adults to start over somewhere new while feeling uncomfortable with their body. MTV Network has a reality show called I Used to Be Fat that follows a person through this struggle. Kelly Sanders was on that show and is here to talk about her weight loss experience. Thank you for joining us today. It's Thank great you. to have you. Okay, so describe what it was like before you lost all the weight. Um, I guess like I didn't go out as much, so I was more like to myself, um, like really self-conscious and stuff. And then like I hung out with friends, but I was more like just with a couple of close friends because I don't know, I guess it was just more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, just really kept to myself. Really shy, did you kind yeah. of turn towards food for comfort um, or? Kind of in a way, but um, yeah, I just mostly like would go by myself, or, you know, like really kept to myself. Kept to and, yeah. So all of a sudden you, you get on this reality show. Mm -hmm. Was there some sort of criteria or what were the main criteria of the show? Um, you just had to be wanting to lose like 50 to 100 pounds mm -hmm. and then they had you send in tapes like to tell me your story and so I don't know like how they cut it down or anything but that's just like the information you needed to send in. Send in. Yep. What kind of tape did you have to send in? What kind of, what did you have to do? Um, change, I, I guess it depends like what your story was but mm -hmm. I know I just filmed like at my school or something how I really kept to myself and how I used to do sports. Um, and then also, because my dad was a big part of it too, so mm -hmm. I would talk about that. And then we went to his grave and I showed like my family because I'm really close with them. Mm -hmm. So it like, depended like what your story was. Mm -hmm. So you said your dad was involved. Um, was he an influence or what influenced you to change your lifestyle? Um, he was a really big part of it because he was really active. He was a, always one who we went camping with. He lift all the time. So I guess like after he passed away, I didn't really have any of that besides sports. I did do sports. Mm -hmm. So it just made me feel closer to him, I guess. Like, I don't know, following his footsteps in the healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. What were some challenges you faced while training? I think probably just not getting to see my friends as much. Cause it was, I like was dedicated like seven days a week. So it was every single day. So I think it was just um, that. And then when the weight didn't come off, you had to like continue. And I guess like I just learned that some weeks will, you'll lose and some weeks you won't. So mm -hmm. you how, just had to learn to keep going. How did you deal with that pressure of having to try and weigh in every week? Was there a certain amount that you had to lose? Uh, yeah, me and my trainer would in the beginning like went over it how much we had to lose each week in order to get the 50 pounds lost. Um, and then we kind of just took it day by day mm -hmm. and like losing and it was really hard when you wouldn't see the weight go down. Mm -hmm. And he would just tell me like just, it could be muscle, gaining muscle, because I could tell like clothes were fitting like loose. So I just kind of try to think of that more than the number on the scale. You always have to think of muscle weighs more than fat at some yeah. time. Yeah. What kind of changes did you do in the diet and exercise? Um, definitely more exercise, <laughs> but uh, then diet, I was on like a 12 to 1500 calories. So, and that's just getting more protein. Okay. Right now we're looking at a graphic of you from May of last year, right before, about a few weeks before you even started the program. And yep. you can see this, this huge difference from yeah. now. Yeah. And, and then the diet and exercise started right away. Yep. Well, e it was like right after my graduation. Mm -hmm. So. And then look at now. This is mm -hmm. what it is now. Right there in the background, you can see that the cast that went through this process with you, they all ha had a lost weight at yep. some point yep. during that summer before. And yeah. what, do you, what do you eat now? Uh, well, I am a vegetarian. So, mm -hmm. and especially going to school here, it's hard because I don't have that many choices. But I'll do like vegetables and veggie burgers and stuff. And then I just try to stay away from like breads and carbs like at night. It's more good to get those in the morning. So I'll do like protein cereal in my dorm and then lunch and dinner at the dining center. With being in college, you know, all of the new stress that you have, how yep. do you keep off the weight? I just found that if I'm stressful to go to the gym instead of turning to food and eating, just go work out and I, to me, it like relieves stress. So, mm -hmm. 
Mm. It's like, I, that's what I learned too this summer. You found new ways to relieve stress yep. instead of going and going down to the kitchen. And yep. so after seeing the show, what was it like seeing that transformation real quick? Um, I don't know. I guess you, I never noticed how big I was in the beginning. So seeing it from start to finish, it was really surprised me and it made the change like bigger, I guess. Like you just notice it and then it just made me more like proud mm -hmm. and to make my dad proud too. Yeah. So. Well, thank you so much. This is an inspiring journey and it really inspired a lot of people. Thank, thank you, you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're watching.